Minister of Children and Youth Services. Minister responsible for women's issues as well. And the Minister responsible for women's issues. For which I stand. Mr. Speaker, it is my pleasure today to rise to recognize this week as International Women's Week and Saturday as International Women's Day. As Minister responsible for women's issue, I'm proud to celebrate the progress that has been made in advancing women's equality around the world and here at home. This year, Ontario's theme for International Women's Day is equity through leadership. As the leaders of today, we must continue to push for female equality. Throughout history, our mothers, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, and our mentors have fought for the right to vote, own land, and in 1929, gained us recognition as persons under the law. Strong women like Agnes McPhail, the first female MP, and the famous five who had stood up for equal rights, insisted on equal opportunity, and made progress toward equality for all women. If it wasn't for their strong leadership, I wouldn't be here today. It's because of them that I feel an overwhelming sense of responsibility to break down barriers for the next generation. We've come a long way in Ontario. We now have first female premier in our history, and one day we won't have to have that female in front of the premier. She'll just be the premier of Ontario. And while this is an important achievement, we must continue to advocate for women in leadership positions. Barriers for women still exist in the corporate world. In Canada, women make up only 16% of the seats on corporate boards. That is unacceptable. The research, the research shows that a stronger economy and equality for women go hand in hand. This has been proven around the world and it holds true in Ontario as well. The 2013 Catalyst Census shows that from 2011 to 2013, female representation on Canadian public in, in companies has increased by 2%. While that's a promising sign, it's evident there's more to do. This past summer, our government asked the Ontario Securities Commission to undertake a review and public consultation on a comply or explain approach to corporate governance. We did that because there's a stigma in the corporate world that we must work hard to change. The data shows that when it comes to return on investment, companies with more female directors outperform those with the least by 26 percent. We've seen that when other countries have adopted a comply or explain approach, there's been an increase in female corporate leadership. As a government and as female role models, we must continue to work hard to break down barriers for the women of today and the leaders of tomorrow. Thirty years after the creation of the Ontario Women's Directorate, progress has been made toward full economic equality. Today, we see more women in senior leadership positions, more women in politics, and more women in non-traditional jobs. While we've, that's right, there's a long way to go, and we acknowledge that. Unfortunately, it's still the case that women earn 72 cents for every dollar earned by their male counterpart. We must continue to work together to work hard to address this discrepancy. Mr. Speaker, I truly believe that equality for women is progress for all. It's not a women's issue. It's an economic imperative and a social imperative. And I remain committed to that goal. I encourage all Ontarians to participate in their community's events during International Women's Week and to look for ways that they can support women's equality and a brighter future for all Ontarians not just during International Women's Week or International Women's Day, but every day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah.